Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. And the other day, I was asked a question in a comment that, and the question was, is it okay if you're a Christian who celebrates Christmas? And I've been watching all these videos about Christmas being pagan and not truly Christian. My response to that was, I believe it is in the context of how you celebrate it. Now, I do celebrate Christmas and I do say Merry Christmas and not Happy Holidays or Seasons Greetings because those two make absolutely no sense considering we have multiple holidays in a year and four seasons in a year. You're not specifying. But the way I celebrate it and the way my family celebrates it, we do not give praise to a fat guy in a red suit in a flying sleigh led by magical reindeer, led by one with a very bright red nose. In fact, if I see any living creature with a bright red nose, I'm going to be thinking massive sinus infection, go see a doctor, or he must have been snorting something, if you get my drift on that. But the way me and my family celebrate is we celebrate it as we would a birthday. We celebrate it as the birthday of Jesus, even though no one knows the exact date. And I believe, based on my studies, Jesus was actually more born in the springtime. But this is the day that was put aside to celebrate his birth, because we don't really know. But we're giving him a birthday to honor him. And this is how we celebrate. So, is it okay if you're a Christian who celebrates Christmas? I honestly believe it is okay if you're doing it the right way. And you're not letting your greed and wanting to consume as many gifts as you can. Now when we throw Santa Claus and his magic reindeer, and his magical elves in the mix, I believe that can become a problem. I mean, as a kid, it's fun to have all this pretend stuff. Because believe me, as a kid, I loved receiving the gifts. I loved thinking it was Santa Claus. Until one day, me and my sister heard some noise, got out of bed, and saw Mom putting the gifts under the tree, but... That's another story, but, you know, if you celebrate it in respect and in praise to Jesus, because in all things give God the glory, I believe it's okay. And the only two holidays in the year I truly celebrate is Christmas and Easter, and I think you can understand why. Actually, I'll rephrase that. There's three because I do celebrate Good Friday too. But I think those are self explanatory. They're all Christian based holidays in celebration of the birth, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the author of our faith. But to anyone out there who is struggling with the thought, is it okay for me to celebrate this and still praise God? You could celebrate it and praise God at the same time. We do. But I got a few scriptures here I actually want to share. In Matthew 1, 21 through 23, it says, And she shall bring forth a son... And thou shalt call him Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled with, 
which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, that shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. And this is how we celebrate, is the coming Savior, the birth of the coming Savior, which was God rolled in the flesh. And I've had many people want to argue this with me, saying Jesus isn't God. It says it right here. Through the name Emmanuel, it means God with us. So if this is how you celebrate, is by giving all glory and praise to God, giving him the biggest happy birthday celebration you can with your family. I give it two thumbs up because that's what we do. And I'm not the type that I care to receive gifts. I live a minimalistic lifestyle anyway. And every time my mother asked me, what do you want for Christmas? I told her, I don't want anything. And then she's like, well, what, is there anything you need? I'm like, well, if you got to, if you feel like you got to get me anything, just get something I could use or something that I will need throughout the year. The funny thing is, last year, she actually got me two rolls of quarters and some laundry pods and some dish soap. And it was a great gift. And the crazy thing is, I've only used half the dish soap. I mean, when you live alone, you don't really do as much dishes. But it was an amazing gift, and I'm still using some of it now. I mean, the laundry pods, they're gone. I got a new bag in there, but yeah, I'm not the type that I care about receiving gifts. The greatest gift I could ever get is just spending time with family because we don't know how much time we are given. So to actually spend it with them in the birthday celebration of our Lord and Savior. That's the greatest gift I can receive next to the gift of salvation that was given to me by Christ Jesus, my Lord and my Savior. said I had a few I wanted to share with you. So in Luke chapter 2 verses 10 and 11, and the angel said unto them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. What greater gift can we receive than that? I mean, the only thing in this world we can take with us is our souls. Whether it goes in the elevator up or down, I mean, that's free will. But this here is the greatest gift we could receive, is salvation in the Lord. The fact that he came to take our sins and nail it to that cross no greater gift than the birth of our Savior. And John 14, 1 14 says, And the Word was made flesh. This is Jesus coming. And not the second coming, but the first. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, who was also the Father rolled in the flesh, full of grace and truth. 
There's no greater truth and no greater gift than right here. And if you don't have one of these, I recommend you put that on your Christmas list. And John 1.29 says, The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. That is beautiful right there. The fact that God took a part of himself, rolled it into flesh, to be the perfect sacrifice for all of us. And this is what we should be celebrating. We shouldn't be celebrating all the gifts that we may receive. We should be celebrating the one gift that we should all be receiving, which is our sins washed clean through his holy and precious blood that he shed on that cross. But again, to answer the question to anyone struggling with it, is it okay for a Christian to celebrate Christmas? Yes, if it is done the right way and not in a selfish way. If we celebrate the true meaning, which is the coming Savior that was born to take away the sins of the world. Now, if we celebrate the fat guy in the red suit, I mean, it's your choice, but that's celebrating it for all the wrong reasons. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And have a Merry Christmas.